very short week. Kind of on the sit. Oh, click. Click. Everybody, this is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news right here inside Shrouded Avatar five days a week for your viewing and listening pleasure. Welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Monday, October... Jeez, I can't even read Ninth. that. It's my brother's birthday. Ninth. Ninth. Oh, nine. Yeah, 2017. Brother's birthday, so I texted him and said happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Right. Uh, hey, Casey, how you doing? Casey Cupcakes in the house. Well, What's up, right. Cupcakes? Doing all. Cup Cupcakes is coming down to SodaCon to hang out with the boys and girls. He's going to make one of those uh, Casey Cupcake appearances. Yes, he's going to be flogging everybody that he can see. Yes. And what do you mean you used to be the office pest? Aren't you still the office pest? I guess now that he's working a regular gig, uh, he doesn't have as much time to spend down there. I don't know. Don't know. I don't think I don't think he's got voice. Well, he does. I, I know I heard him a minute ago. Well, I, I, he he may be playing around with the baby, maybe do playing around yeah, with the herb or he disconnected. Ran away in fear. It's like ran away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, now there he's he back. Is. Now welcome back, he's Casey. Back. He's playing with that crappy Apple Watch again, I bet you. <laughs> Yep. Cupcakes, can you hear us? Can you talk to us? Yeah, he's nope. working on something. He'll chime in in the middle of something when he finally figures <laughs> it out. So, so anyway, did you, did you have fun this weekend? To seeing Casey. You know, I did. Is uh, quite uh, quite a lot going on around town, and I gotta tell you, man, uh, you know, just when you think you've seen it all, and you know, there's nothing much that's going to amuse you anymore. Somebody comes up with something that is really outstanding. Really, now, really uh, outstanding. I mean, the, 
I, I, I know what you're talking about here. And did you get a, get a chance to go? Yeah, do it? I, I went and did it, man. I, I went okay, and did so. it. Uh, I hung before, out with Vooch. Before we go into what we did over the weekend or what we didn't do, is uh, yeah, it's just amazing. Now, if anybody's been paying attention, you realize that it's been pretty quiet as of late and things have slowed down a little bit and. We're prepping for the holidays. We're prepping for SodaCon. There's a lot of stuff going on inside the game, outside of the game. But uh, inside of the game, been a little lackluster up until this past weekend, I got to say. So, um, well, it, we, we were uh, also in the, the lull of before release, and then everybody comes in, samples a little bit of the release, and then. Well, every month, yeah. so, everybody rushes in on the new release, gets the patch, plays around, tests the new stuff, and then towards the end of the release, it drops. Now, this is historic. We know this. We've been watching this happen for the past couple of years now. And uh, again, right before the holidays, the kids all just started school last month. Uh, we got the... Uh, Halloween coming up, so everybody's running around getting ready for that. We got the holidays coming up, and uh, want to just give everybody a heads up. Uh, during the next couple months, the release schedule is going to get modified. Uh, we'll be on an early release schedule like we have in the past years, I'm assuming. Uh, and that makes for short and long release cycles. Usually uh, November and December are very short release cycles and then uh, between december and january it becomes an extended six week uh period before between releases so be ready for the release cycle to get a little wonky here in the next month or two this happens every holiday because the guys and gals down at portalarium believe in family as well and uh, they like to take some time off and spend it with their loved ones as we do and uh, I applaud them for that. So just be uh, ready for that. We'll be giving you more as we get closer to the holidays. But uh, don't forget for us, short week this week. Uh, we're only here till Wednesday. And then I'm off to SodaCon. And uh, going to be a great, great, great event. Uh, for those of you guys who don't have tickets, I'll hopefully have plenty of video and pictures to bring back like I usually do, so you can well, well live after vicariously the fact that. through us. Oh, hush. <laughs> not well, not during some, the event, some... well after. Uh, unless, well, unless... We, we, may, we may get some live streaming. Yeah. We do plan to bring uh, the radio, the dance party live on Saturday night to the folks from from SodaCon, so we're going to see how that goes, and that's going to be right here on WRFB. Dot so rocks. stay tuned to that. Right. Dot rocks. And that's right. Don't forget to follow Laz on Twitter in case he decides to Periscope some stuff. Periscope, that's right. Is uh, We may be doing some Periscope while we're down there, and uh, depending on how the connectivity is in the hotel uh, we may try and stream a couple of things what that are going on i'm not planning on it if i do it'll be on periscope most likely so uh, if you want to catch stuff live from SodaCon, subscribe to that twitter because most most likely it'll be on periscope and of course if you don't know who my very first periscope fan was you're missing out I know who it was, and it wasn't yes. me. It wasn't Jack. Nope. That's right. It was was, not wasn't Jack. my mother either. Nope. It was not only then Lord British himself. The minute I went live, man, he was right on top of it. So, um, you know, again, for those of you guys who are aspiring streamers or just starting out, yes, Lord British pays attention to what goes on out there, and he follows videos. So don't don't hesitate to tag him, talk to him. He does answer his Twitter. He does talk about everything and anything, including the game. But meanwhile, over the weekend, uh, we uh, had uh, several announcements, of course. And uh, we've got Avatar's update. Update of the Avatar. Of the. I still don't get you know, too long. Huh? Avatar's of update the, number 248. Came out on Friday. That's right. 
Of course, uh, we got a countdown clock coming up to uh, this week's postmortem. Why? Why did you have to do it the day before the con? Jeez, people. Hey, I'm not the I'm not the one that that schedules these things. I just show I up. Know. I know. I know. I mean, it, I just show up and I just do a little bit of helping out. Yeah, so, I'm gonna miss all the sales. I'm gonna be in the air on my way to Austin. You're killing me. No. Hey, <laughs> I'll be uh, I just, I'll be in the office after I pick someone up from the right. the airport. Yeah, that's what and I'll then be doing. You'll be at the airport again. Then I'll be uh, back at the airport picking someone else up, and then I'll be back to the Starting, office, and then uh, back to the airport. It, yeah, that's I think that's gonna be my plan on Wednesday is uh, Thursday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, every single day. You picking people up on Wednesday too? Yeah, well, cool. I actually have to pick up Blood Omen right when the telethon ah. starts. Oh, that's Thursday. That's not Wednesday. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, whatever. You got to pick up Blood Omen before the telethon. You got to pick me up at the end of the telethon. It's going to be And a... then SodaCon starts. It's going to be interesting. Don't don't leave him at the offices. He may he may corrupt everybody yeah, down there. No, I think I'll leave, leave him, him in the office himself. because I, I know exactly <laughs> what he's going to do. But yeah. uh, yes, over the weekend. Uh, so so we're not going to talk about the update of the Avatar or anything. Oh no! no <laughs> I, I added him up on stream. Always leave him wanting more. Now they know oh, it's coming. So they typical typical last fashion. We're just going to take a complete nutter. Yeah. Se segway and we started off I, going down one path and now, I started now, that path that's and, right we and, let them dangle there for a little bit and, and we moved on and now we're going to saw the deer trail that. and you decided to go follow it <laughs> follow that off so squirrel 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 squirrel, squirrel. i mean uh so a great thing happened this weekend and yes oh wow i actually have to put on my helmet so that way i can bring up the channel is uh yeah okay let, let me we can do that i got mine on yeah. i never thought about that oops or you can just click on the radio sitting right in front of you yeah that's uh, way too complicated that's reach out in front of you. <laughs> so but, uh, over the weekend the haunted house out in Minwent opened up and want to say anything about it Oh, I'm telling you, Vooch did. Yeah, Vooch and uh, mine, mine. It, it wobbles the mind in the well, ever so famous words of Kelly Bundy. It wobbles the mind. Yeah. It is just a spectacular sight and sound combination, and uh, there are hourly audio tours going on. Uh, of course. Uh, We've got a promo running for it on the radio after he gave me a tour. I says, dude, why don't, why don't we have this out there? Why aren't we advertising this? And, of course, uh, Vooch stepped up and got it to us. Well, but uh, if you tune in your uh, Ether Vibration device to http colon slash slash mindwent.com slash haunted tour, that's right. Yeah, we'll put just, that. I'll put that in the Discord, and if anybody needs that later date, you can just ask. The details a lot of are typing. at the haunted house. Oh yeah, you you add it to your uh, your portable Ether vibration di device. So, and if you don't have one, I'm sure you can find one on Shroud Marketplace. Uh, and then you listen in to the tour and it directs you around the haunted house and what to do and gives you the backstory of what's going on. And, uh, there's also a forum post related to it. Um, uh, there's going to be a dance party on October 31st out there. Uh, it is phenomenal. I mean, it's going to be hosted by DJ yes. Justin, I believe as well. Oh yeah. And, uh, my tour was guided by Vooch. Uh, As was mine. It, and you you just have to have a blast. I mean, he did a fantastic job. Uh, um, he's also already submitted that to the contest. 
uh, the, hands the how- down the winner. Oh, absolutely. The the nightmares of yeah. New Britannia. Well, it depends on whether or not um, uh, our Seder gets the the haunted keep of Solania up and running again as far as the maze goes and he, if he had some more uh, more things but this is a fantastic job done oh just and i mean freaking phenomenal it was i mean it was absolutely astounding i mean i loved the entire thing i i loved the fact that it's like there's some Easter eggs within the within the tour itself. So you really do have to pay attention to what's going on and what's being said. And read the notes. Read the notes. Read the notes. Just, I mean, take the tour and then stick around just to look at all the detail work. Because the tour goes a little quick. Um Yeah. I, I would have liked a little bit slower pace so that, you know, first time in and first time in, you may may stumble a little, but uh, fantastic, fantastic job by Vooch out there. Vooch and uh, Night Tempest or Twilight Tempest in game. Night Tempest. Twilight is Tempest. That's right. Yes. yes. Those are the two that worked on it. It is done on a city lot. Um, and I mean, it is a fantastic job. Don't there are. I, I believe Laz and Jack are part of the tour. Yes. All right, let's try this. Can you hear me now? Oh, y- yes, y- we welcome can. Welcome back, Casey. Chime in eventually. I took a lot of work troubleshooting. Uh oh, troubleshooting's no fun. But yes, go out to Minwent, uh, go find the haunted house. It is on the island um, outside of the main town. So it should be relatively familiar if you're familiar with the Pax Lair. And there's going to be a party out there on the 21st and also on the 31st. So that is going to, and it, it did take them nine months to build that scene, and they have done a fantastic job with all of it. Give me one moment. Are, are you busy responding to text messages? Yeah, Winfield, this is an important one. Uh oh. Wait, did I also get an important one? Uh, no, but I told you about it. Winfield's bringing some maps. Uh, care of Burko for the attendees, and uh, he's going to be bringing them to the studio to get signed for everybody who's going to the con. And he won't be able to get them to me by Friday morning. Of course, I had already told him to give them to you because you will be at the studio and you will be leaving the studio to come see me, at which point you will give them to me and then I will have them for registration in the morning. But I have to tell them that again. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I'll think about it. <laughs> it's kind of like that box of SodaCon stuff that's still sitting on my, the floor yeah, of my car. I was going to say, right now, you know, you know, has I, was, it, has... I joke around, the soda kind don't start till I get there because I bring all this stuff, but that's not it, true. I it, shipped it all ahead it, it's, this it's, year. It's yeah. when Jack shows now up. Now it's all in Jack's hands. Yeah, and, and, the f- and if... One year of planning all chaotically now in Jack's hands. I don't know how I let that happen. I don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. so while you're doing that, let's go ahead and bring up the update of the Avatar number 248. Remember, that's 248 yes, weeks that of them telling us what's going on in development world. Uh, so this week we do have the... I'm going to skip the subtitle or the table of contents for the post. Let's just go ahead and start scrolling down with the making of North Midmere Way and North Quell Way, where they are un or uncloning several of the scenes. Uh, North Midmere Way is being done by none other than the Energy Vortex List Rostov. And, List Rostov. And 
it's it's my understanding there might be an energy vortex inside of there. Might be. Might be. Uh, it, flaming energy vortex. Flaming maybe. energy. No, no. Or or some purple llama drama might might make it. I up gotta have some purple llama drama. Yes. Gotta have it. So that the North Quell Way does look like a very spooky forest. Uh, I'm just glad I don't see any uh, spider webs inside of these screenshots. And spiders. spiders. Yes. Out in North there. Quell these Way. Spiders. Yeah. Which is done by Sorcerer Steve. It's a little bit more ominous with a little bit more foggy and some destruction and ruins and things like that. So beware um, of the random like skeletal arms sticking out on the map and notice that the boards are coated in blood so and children's blood and that person's face uh behind that corpse are you looking at the picture of the corpse just face planted into the rock uh oh, yeah, is that one there yeah it's like, damn. Splat. Yeah, that, that, that person went splat. Um, so you will see a bunch of undead more than likely out in North Well oh, Way. A bunch of dead. Definitely a bunch of dead. And normally when you have a bunch of dead, you generally see a bunch of the undead. undead. Uh, the updates to the new content threads, more Credit. seed invest items, beer krugs, and new fall items. Uh, so you can get the Golden Lord British Throne, the Golden Ornate Street Lamps, Golden Ornate you know, Iron Fences. The Golden Throne does just not do it justice. Well, I it, like it needs the whole. Straight up. It needs the whole cut through it, so it that way it can be, in the be bottom. properly yeah. be the Golden Throne. I, that or they should have done taken some lessons from Donald Trump on how to have the golden throne. What? No yeah, comment there? The, no, 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 none whatsoever. Yeah, I got no arguments with that. And golden bank devices. Bank devices. And don't forget. LB's. Yeah. Yeah. LB's porcelain throne. You can't give him an upper decker because it's old school. It's got the it's got the, the tank up top. Uh. So. Can't give it the upper decker. That's unfortunate. And then the Golden Viking Palisade Walls. Remember, all of these golden items are only available to the people that were the Seed Invest backers. And so those guys really a ton of stuff, including clockwork pets, automatons, Lord British helmets. Yeah, we got tuxedos with trims. Yeah, C3 Prio is truly in game now. Um, but then we get to what Scotty's been working on with the beer Krugs. Or you know, yes, signs. Now this this is something to talk about for the collectors signs. out there. These are going to be must haves for every bar and pub out there in the world. Yep. Of course, you know my drinking horn. You know. Hard, hard, hard to give up my drinking horn. The, I mean. the Lord Marshal drinking horn. I can't. Even, yes. Do I still have mine, or did I sell it? I don't know. You have yours in real life still. The, the, you mean the, the the drinking horn I used at Oblov, which was the the loot, uh, crate one? The, the loot crate drinking horn? Yeah, I still have yes. that. It, it, it's out. Yeah. Same place as my kilt, which I'll probably same, be going same to place today. As the, yeah. yeah. But I, I actually have to... Uh, Kilt, drinking uh, horn, I'll, I'll be all, bringing all, all, all packed uh, up and ready to go already. I'll be bringing the vodka holster. Sweet. That, uh, that, yes. That's the important thing is the vodka holster. Hey, Casey, can you bring me an NBNN shot glass? You've already been given and, one. And I, get, I gave that to Dennis Lube for crying out loud, okay? You can't blame me for giving Dennis my NBNN shot glass. Hey. You know, it's not every day you get to, A, meet Dennis, let alone give him hey. some NBNN swag, you know? I've, I've, I mean, I've got some of the best Dennis Lube artwork ever done. Yeah. Now, of course, Casey Cupcakes does the shot glasses. Is uh, of course, 
if he's up to it and uh, he wants some shot glass giveaways done, he can always bring some of those down and we can showcase, uh, you know, his his artwork. Is that changing? Yeah. I'll work Whatever on some NBA is. ones and I'll work on some soda ones. Is awesome. uh, it, that that would be great because I'm sure they'd love them as prizes. Uh, and if you haven't seen most of the devs when they're doing shots down during the telethons that's happening this Thursday. A lot of them will be doing shots out of their personalized shot glasses made by Casey. So, a little, little bit of trivia for you there. That's right. Speaking of trivia, if you got any good trivia questions, send them to this guy. I can use a couple extra more for the uh, contest on Saturday. So, if you have any good soda trivia, hit me up in Discord or send it to news at nbnn.info Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Beer Steins. Beer Steins. Beer Steins. Beer Steins. Beer Steins. They look wonderful. You must collect them all. Uh, the 2017 fall items are also out uh, along with the white and black banded turkey pet. Remember that is a non-combat pet and you can't stuff it unless your name is Led Zepp. The 2017 fall wreath, which will be fun to hang on your doors and on Laz's head. More leaf stuff. Yes. Uh, don't forget the fall telethon. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> I feel song. pretty That's... and witty and gay. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that song. Uh, the race 40... Six postmortem telethon uh, will be coming out on October 12th. Yay! That's going to be between Yay. three and seven, four hours of fun. What, what time does your flight arrive? I arrive at 10 to 7 if this flight's <sighs> on time. 10 to 7. Yeah, I might pick you up at 7 45. You'd think? Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Like, okay, guys, I got to go pick up Laz and leave early. Yeah. That's okay. I already I already checked with the Mad Hatter. He's there to take over the controls and... Uh, okay, he'll he'll be able to click stop stream. Okay. That's he'll be able to click stop stream so you don't have to worry about it. Okay. You'll have to remind me. Yeah, I can pick you up, too. What is that? So if you need, I can pick you up, too. Okay. Cool. Yes. Yeah, but see, the maps are going to be with Jack down to Port Alarium, which need to be delivered, so. Unless you want to go pick up the maps from Winfield. We'll see. We'll see. I can't. I might be meeting him Thursday. That after the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah but, he's, he's asking now what time the maps need to be ready, so when Jack leaves, they'll be ready for him, all signed, sealed, and delivered. If I can get him, like, if he's got them ready on Thursday, I'll get them from him on Thursday. Thursday night. Yeah, well, he's talking about having them ready at the end of the telethon, so. Talk about it after the show. You don't have to work <laughs> these details out live in the air, you know. So, stre oh, we can. Yeah, we stretch just. goals, <laughs> if you contribute $5 of new money, just $5. $5, five. Include the skull cloak, the prisoner's mask, the torn and tattered wedding dress and tuxedo, the spooky fountain, uh, the dead hedge fence set, and if 80,000 is raised, Nightmare Statue with Flaming Mane and Glowing Eyes. At 100,000 is the possibility of the not included on this list, the ball gag for last. <laughs> I, I I don't know why they're not including like things like that, the ball gag. I mean, yeah. why not? If you're going to do the prisoner's mask, you might as well do the ball gag. Well, you oh, know, the prisoners break mask out the gimp suit. Lends, exactly. lends itself more to the man in the iron mask type thing, you know. Yeah, you know what? The man in the iron. I mean, need a ball gag and a chastity belt, and then throw him in the cage. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Chastity I've seen belt, some ball interesting gag, uses in for cage. cages, by the way. Oh, I, I've right. seen lots of interesting <laughs> uses for cages lately. As well as the stocks. 
Oh, I, I have seen them. Being, I haven't uh, seen those put to use yet. I haven't been out. I haven't seen a uh, set of those out. In oh, I got one off my lot if you want to go see it. Yes, well, I can make them. And, and don't forget, the spank emote is coming. Bad diva. Bad diva. Bad Justin. Bad Clipsy. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't gonna see that that uh, nightmare unless they accidentally put uh, what is it artisan ingot molds on the. Uh... I can hardly hear. Artisan ingot molds of prosperity. <laughs> yeah, that would like be that. nice. Yeah, ingot molds of prosperity would make a few few people way too happy. Uh, put those uh, on the store, and and I guarantee you, we, we I'd buy that. that Yes. So, Laz, yes. did you manage but. to make it out this weekend to somewhere else? What else happened this weekend? I made it out to the auction this weekend. How was that auction? It was pretty nice. A uh, lot, lot of uh, interesting items sold. A lot of items didn't sell. Um, and... Uh, Nice crowd out there. Very, 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 uh... Did you raise your hand for anything? I did. I I, it... I, 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 I bid quite a few people up on a couple things. Of course, uh, I didn't bid up other people on... It was very, very, uh, conducted very well. Oh, you know, okay. uh, what they weren't taking yell out. If you wanted to bid, you had to raise your hand. And, uh... Based on your hand raise was, you know, so they can, you know, log that in chat. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, very, very nice paste, uh, very well done, very tastefully done. Let me put it that way. And then uh, there was a bidding war at the end. They had three surprise chests uh, to close out the auction filled with random goodies and, uh, First two went rather cheap, 22k, and then the last one I think sh shot up to over 40k. You know, for the surprise. That's good. I know Nero. Nero picked up an item that uh, went pretty cheap. I was gonna bid on it, but once I saw Nero bid on it, I didn't want to get into you, a bidding you, you war. You backed with him, off. So, you yeah. Know. Yeah. I was like, and eh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drive him up. <laughs> yeah, as much, if, much as I may if, want something. If it was me, you'd be driving me up all day. Oh, if it was you, I would have dumped it on you at a high price, of yeah, course. Absolutely. And nice to other people, not to me. I see how you are. Yeah, and did you see that chain that I... Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you, if, you, if you got that Warlock's chain out at the auction. No, no. If uh, you notice, I will show it to you again. Come on. Come on, drag that warlock's chain over. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. I got to, uh, my, ma my macros for the soundboard were on. Uh, you, you were trying to so, fart and moo and do I, other weird and things? And it was, yeah, it was typing in. Uh, look at the maker on that. Hmm. Um, crafted by... Jackson assist, excellent. With right. a proper penis. <laughs> you, you can That's click right. accept on that. I, I won't complain. Crafted by Lazarus well, Long. Hold on, yeah. let, let me pay you an appropriate amount for that. Yeah, one gold. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like all my but money. Yes. Crafted, crafted my first Warlocks chain. Yes. Congratulations on collecting all those uh, thingies and crafting that. Hey, I now, mean, now I, you I need to you, enchant I made it. A great trade with Drager a while back, and uh, actually, I'm in talks to buy the fixin for another one. Hopefully, are you going Wait, to enchant waiting it? Waiting for an email. Enchant it. Enchant I don't it. know. Can they be enchanted? Enchant that puppy. One does not enchant. One a does not enchant. Why a not? Chain. There Wh you why go. not? One cannot, or one does not. One doesn't attempt it because if it poops, you're in for it. Well, I mean, you know, it's that's stats the, are impressive. That's the, the purpose of enchanting. I mean, if you already yeah. have it, it's like 
might as well just let's just blow this puppy up. Let's make it better. Yes, I've seen the stats on a Warlocks chain. Yeah, and there are plenty of guys out there who collect these rings who could literally do it time and time again until I bang it out. So it's not like these rings are really rare. Exactly. And the prices come down. I mean, yeah. you, you can get these rings for around 35k each these days. So and if, if you shop. And I've seen a couple on uh, Shroud Marketplace before. I don't know if one's on there right now. Um, so I, I do know that well, they are out there. I I know that again. You know the price. If you figure the price that you got to have eight rings at an average of thirty five thousand each, and then the uh, gem that you need, and you know just time included. You know they they. Oh, worth the, the price you're going the for the half rings. million it's gold. The two recipes you need to join the two rings into the third into the third item. Hence, Lazarus Long's crafting services. Yep. Oh, yeah, of course. Crap. Yeah. I realized it's like that that Embry's harp that I got the other day is actually an artifact. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoops. You didn't realize that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell that puppy now. Yeah, they're not worth much. You get about 15k for it. Not even that anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. If you actually got that off of me that was just ganked by you, I wasn't really worried about it because they're really not that expensive anymore. Check out your... Uh, your... I, pick, I picked up a loot of Discord and notes for like 12k the other day. Yeah. Hey, but you know where I'm going to sell it. Freeze <laughs> <laughs> hard. Yes, Bend Over. I know Ben. Good friend of mine. Yep. You do the Bend Over. That's right. <laughs> so don't forget Telethon. Bad and the app. Diva. Gotta be Bad yeah. Diva. Sorry. So, so there was some more information on that weekend update. Don't forget the yes. Halloween contest, uh, the Nightmares of New Britannia, is a two-part contest. One, it is a costume contest. The second is a house decorating contest. Uh, if you are able to win the house decorating contest, you will re be receiving 500 kodos. If you manage to win the uh, costume contest, that's 100 kodos. So please participate. Um, I do love the person that, that did the headless mask, laid down in the water and took off all their clothes and said that they were a headless sea bass. <laughs> I, I love that one. Yes. Uh, and in if you uh, purchase anything off the add-on store, don't forget there's also a 15% bonus. Uh, Kodo bonus. Kodo bonus approximately 15 uh kodos yeah, shroud math shroud math code uh 15 percent kodos um which will be credited to your account uh the following day uh weapon flash sales over the weekend sodacon this week where you can meet it's sodacon sodacon you can see sodacon. whether or not i am being serious when i say that i will wear my kilt in the traditional style Laz, Pictures I, or it didn't happen. Will I do it? He will. He also have an eight-inch <laughs> cock under there. Uh, it's going to be kind of weird but trying whether to. Whether it was his by birth or not, it will yeah. be there. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to find some way to attach that uh, eight-inch cock. I've been trying to find a way to keep him more permanently secured. Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Got to get some. Try Velcro. Velcro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Velcro uh, uh, on my skin? Yeah, don't think so. No, you Velcro to the kilt, you. Yeah, that's not going to happen either. Because as <laughs> soon as you take that Velcro out, it's gonna not going to feel pleasant. Sodacon <laughs> I mean, does have a lot of things planned. Uh, don't forget that. Yes, the whole schedule is here. It's missing Sunday's events, or did they get that? Uh... Sunday, yes. farewell lunch is on there um 
No, Sunday's farewell lunch has uh, been canceled because they didn't update. They they just took an old calendar and oh, yeah, didn't update yeah, from the yeah. live from, calendar. from the from the one that says go to Castleton and hang yes, out. Yes, it's going to be a big event down at Castleton from eight a.m. to three p.m. And of course, for those of you guys who know, you, you know it's the a treat. You know if the you don't great know, things. That's Lord British's property in Austin. You know those great things where it's like things start at 8 a.m.? Yeah, I won't be there. I'm not even going to be up yet. (laughs) Actually, I'll probably be up. I just won't be moving very far. Uh, Then you can only see the... uh, Watch the uh, Richard Garriott's interview at the Igoromir Expo, which was out in Moscow. Uh, Interesting interview. I didn't watch it, and I didn't watch the panel. I didn't watch the panel. Watch most of the interview, and again, nothing uh, new coming oh, yeah, out nothing, of there. That I, yeah, yeah. If you if you watch enough uh, of Richard's interviews in a three month span, it's pretty much the same information. But they they did ask him some interesting, lively questions. Uh, they asked him, uh, you know, how he how he would make his character, what his characters or tributes and stuff were. They really made him think a little bit, which was pretty cool. Uh, which path are you going to take? I mean, are you going to be a shepherd? Yeah, are you going to be a paladin? He told us a little about Shimino and uh, what what kind of pet Shimino would have if he had one, and all sorts of uh, now. Are they talking in little... in Shroud or in just in general fantasy? How do you pitch your character? You know. How do, you, how do you set up your character? How do you visualize him? What kind yeah, of person oh, is, is he? Is he a younger character? Is he an older character? What was, you know, I mean, they really got some, you know, they really had him thinking, you know. Well, Shimino was his SCA name. So. Yes. So if you think about that, generally most people visualize their characters as 18 to 25. In that range. So young, young, full of a uh, full of adventure. Yes. <laughs> and, and Nero's uh, messaging me saying that he talked about pooping in space. Well, you, yes, yes. You, you know what, Nero? You have to ask him the important questions. What it's like to rub one out in space? Rub one out in space. Yes. That's more important than pooping in space. And uh, you can read all about that in his latest book, Explore Create. Yes. I have my autographed copy in the back seat of my car. I've got my copy in my yeah <laughs> laptop case right there. Yeah. I was gonna say suitcase, but I know it wasn't my suitcase. And Laz's has never been opened because he doesn't know how to read. Hey, hey now. What? Uh, I, I'm. You act like I'm making things up. Yeah. Do you have a signed Blade in the Avatar by Hickman and, and Gary? Garrett? Um, no, because mm. Blade of the Avatar yeah, was do. the PDF. Yeah, I do. <laughs> now, are you referring Gosh. to the Sword of Midras? The Sword of Midras, yes, uh, sorry. Maybe Excuse I do. Me. Do I need to go get that out of yeah. my car? <laughs> in your car. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do no good. Yeah, you know, one of these days your car is gonna blow up. You know that. Not, not only that, and all your all, all your worldly possessions that are important are gonna go yeah. poof because well, they're all in your car. Yeah. So in the trunk of my car right now, you, you'll laugh at this is a a color laser printer that's a duplex laser printer, Wi-Fi or network that cranks things out in like twenty pages per minute. Okay. Ink cartridges. My camera's in my car. So do you, do you print wirelessly from in the house to you, your trunk? Is no. that what you're trying <laughs> to tell us? <laughs> I haven't moved it into the house yet. <laughs> and this is relevant I've, how? I've got an air mattress in know. my back seat. I and mean, it's like, what the hell, man? True nomad. Now... If the printer was plugged into the car, I, I would. That, that would be that. that would be phenomenal. I've, I've got it hardwired into the battery. Yeah, 
There's an inverter as well. I mean, it's yeah, it doesn't have to be hardwired. Just, you know, put an inverter in, turn the car on, uh, print. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hold on. I got to print something out. He gets out, goes downstairs, I goes do out that. to the car, sits in the yeah. car, turns the car on, comes back, pops out, walks pops back up the truck, yeah. and then yeah. hits print. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. I could do that. I could do that. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. <laughs> moving right along it is that time for us to talk uh, about you know, that thing that's on would, our phones what? yes well i was gonna say it is a little alert on friday's stand-up did you notice that one the a little alert on friday's stand-up the search is on wait hold on oh no, it's notes gone. notes gone missing for Friday, it's st- gone missing. <laughs> Runaway notes. Yeah, notes gone missing. <laughs> notes gone missing. But that's right. Let's talk about those uh, little wonderful mobile devices that just about everybody carries around that, with them. That thing with that's that right. shroud right of the there Avatar on the app. Yeah. screen. I've got a new message. I just hit cancel on it. it and that NBN app is available on the Android. Well, you don't hit cancel. I put those messages in there to update you on news. You should always read the new message. Jeez. Don't message you understand? inbox. <laughs> Screw you, Laz. <laughs> uh, don't forget that NBN app is available on your Android devices. Just go to the Google Play Store. Do a search for NBN, Shroud of the Avatar, or Soda. You can also do the same thing on the Apple iTunes store or the Amazon app store. So your Kindle can be connected as well. Yay. All the th- best electronic devices support the NBN and app because Laz got lucky. Uh, don't forget that th- that, that app has all the best links to everything Shroud of the Avatar related from the NBN and homepage to the Daily Britannian to... The Twitch and YouTube channels related to Proud of the Avatar, Radio Free Britannia, SodaHelp.org, Soda Wiki, The Hospitalers, as well as Soda Map, Forums, Pictures, Social Media, Crowd Marketplace, the Discord channel for NBNN. What? You can Discord channel. You can join us. Avatar. You can join us in Discord. Because we hang out in the green room all the time. All the publicly listed Trinity Avatar channels are there. Yep. And as well as that NBNN community calendar, which is available on nbnn.info. Click on the calendar button and you can go and see what all is going on in your world in Trinity the Avatar. Yay! Don't forget... All times on the community calendar or central time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as Nude Britannia time. Nude Britannia time. And if you this have... calendar if, brought to you by Crucial. If you have a community calendar related to Shroud of the Avatar and it is not listed on the NBNN community calendar, you need to email that guy at news at nbnn.info and eventually he will do something with it. Probably stare at it for a few days and try to figure out what to do. <laughs> Hi, Tiger. Thank you for the follow and letting the puppies loose. I like it when people let the puppies loose. Yes. Generally, Monday through Friday, 12s and 6s around the clock, you can listen to two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to. Mm -hmm. A little show called Lunch. With us. Today at 2, I believe it's on AR2. It's going to be GOG taking the alternative route at 7 p.m. on Radio Free Britannia. W-R-F-B. That rocks. Arius is going to be doing the GMC Top 20 countdown at 8 o'clock on AR2. DJ Killy is going to be doing Monday nights. Killy. At 9 p.m., you can go to the town of <laughs> Verit Chaos... And Hold on. Somebody else has let when, the dogs out, and I can't even pronounce that name. Um, It is... Here, I'll, I'll help you with that. I, I don't know. See, I, I, I don't <laughs> see right you helped me with that one. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see whose name in the channel is you can't pronounce. 
he even used to teach English. No, no, no. I'm looking uh, at the list yeah. of people. I don't actually see who's actually did anything because what I look at is Chatty, which is just a black box. Oh yeah, you're not seeing so, so, that. So yeah, I don't actually see what what just happened in Laz's channel. So there you, there it, you go. Yeah, here I I I'll, I'll give you the name. You you pronounce it for everybody. Lego okay? my ego. There you go. Thank thank you to Diego. Diego Size Lexandrov. Size Lexandrov. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Wait. Yep. Ooh, Diego right says on. Alexandrov. I don't Alex Sandroff, but it's Diego Saiz. Yeah. See, I, I don't know if it's supposed to be Diego says Alex Sandroff or something else. Anyway. Don't know. Well, there's a surname signs. Yeah, I see like some that. blatant early self-promotion for Seder's stinky sewer shop here. Hey, hey I, I, I even posted that on Facebook. So, weekly... Uh, Open role-playing event out in Verit Chaos at the Pub of Extraordinary Thought. Don't forget to go hang out with Ander, Tiana, Zazarus, and do some open uh, role-playing because you know what? All great adventures begin in a pub somewhere. So go hang out with those guys and see what kind of trouble you can get into. At 9 p.m. is the Order of Vengeance Guild meeting, and the final event of the evening is on Radio Free Britannia. W. RFB. And that is the record room. And that is our community calendar this October 9th in Crowd of the Avatar. Crowd of the Avatar. Yeah. Die around, guys. Okay. Love you. Talk to you later. Thank you, Case. Bye, Casey. See you later, See buddy. you later. Take care. See you care. later this week. Always nice when Cupcake stops by. One of the original crew. Doesn't get to hang around with us much these days. It's that work thing, man. It, it, it puts a damper on everything. Yeah, you know. Put, puts a real crimp in one's day, I tell you. It works so Glad we so don't well. have to do that thing. Oh, hold on. That's right. You quit your job to do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm looking for a job, so it's even worse. It's going to suck when it's like, Hey, Laz, uh, I can't do lunch anymore. I, I got to work. Got to get a night job, man. I can't, yeah, can't get a day job. Oh, well, I'm looking for remote work just just because I I don't want to put on pants anymore. Yeah, I I can't blame you. Yeah, I would too. I would be speaking to uh, you know, Omen Crow over there. Maybe he can get you a remote job. Or don't my... don't speak to Led Zepp because a remote job is something totally different. Yeah, when you that that would be something a little bit weirder. <laughs> Okay, so, what else Time do you have? Time for us to start wrapping up and get out of here. Of course, uh, wouldn't be a normal day if we didn't sit there and uh, thank all of our sponsors out there. And, of course, don't forget, you're watching Lunch with Laz and Jack here on NBNN, listening on WRFB, Radio Free Britannia, out there on the Internet, interwebs, or listening in-game on your Ether Amplifier. Need their vibration amplifier. It vibrates. Ooh. Yeah, I wonder who came up with that idea. And of course, don't forget, in full swing, uh, Airy Fund's Think Pink community cause is taken off all over Shrouded Avatar. And you see those Think Pink cloaks floating out all over the world. And there are all sorts of events going on. Throughout the month, we'll give you a bit more coverage on that tomorrow during the show. Give you a list of upcoming events and other happenings throughout the month. But don't forget, you can get your Think Pink Community Cloak for $25 uh, by supporting the cause on the airyfund.org. And I believe there's a couple cloaks out in the wild you can pick up for some in-game gold over at Airy Cove. And that one's going to be a quest. Find Airy Cove. All the way on the east coast, east coast, all the way out east. Not, not on the west, like airy, 
all the way on the Coil east. more wands, putting the magic in your hands. And I know Arius has been working hard trying to make a specialty weapon for me, and he hasn't been having much luck. But keep at it, my friend. I know you will per- prevail. Scrota's music. It's Scrota. It's music and much, much more. The Britannian Money Company wants you to come check out Market Road located in Black Rock Cove in the Quell region right next to the town of Vetsitter, conveniently located right next to the Etzer Mines and a boat ride away from the Elysian Mines for the miner in you. Relicspiral.com for all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. If you're looking for a Shrouded Avatar t-shirt or an Oracle tee like Jack's wearing over there today, or you're looking for some patches, or you need to get your hands on one of the elusive, I love this shit, MBN bumper stickers. Go to Relic. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> they, they know it. Yeah, it's even funnier when it's upside down. That's it's, the point. It's typical for you. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Technical difficulties. Can't even get the bumper stickers straight. But if you want to save some money when you check out at RallySpiral.com, use the promo code NBNM when you check out. You'll save 10% off your purchase. Of course, WRFB Radio Free Britannia bringing you all sorts of great entertainment throughout the week, starting every Monday night with Arius Coilmore at 7. The Deco Divas every Wednesday and Thursday with unmedicated schizophrenia part un and part du. Uh, the Sarah and Andar show uh, late night, keeping you guys awake on the overnight. Omen uh, Crow. Wednesday, Thursday. Omen Crow on the late night uh, Friday, Saturday shifts. Wake up, New Britannia, every Saturday morning, starting your weekend off right. And, of course, news and entertainment throughout the week. Listening to two guys like us giving you the latest news and events right here inside Trinity Avatar. And of course, if you're looking for some swag and you forgot a telethon, you uh, had an earthquake, a hurricane, uh, it was raining outside and your flat tires were flat and couldn't get the donations in, and you need to find something, check out ShroudMarketplace.com. For all your virtual vendable needs. Oh yeah, Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Over 74 player 70 vendors four on plus. Shroud Marketplace. Every so single vendor. We have 75 vendors out there. Uh, 74. Might be 75. <laughs> I don't know. I can't count anymore. Uh, each vendor is responsible for maintaining their own inventory, setting their own prices, including. The newest vendor, Aether's Arables, uh, they've listed a ton of crops as well as obsidian chips, all kinds of different things that you can get. Really, really cheap prices. I mean, awesome prices. Anything and everything from accounts all the way to game gold. I mean, look at that 500k game gold listed right there. I mean, obsidian ingots, all kinds of stuff. Crowns of the obsidian. From none other than Stinky Sewer, Stinky's Sater Stinky, Stinky Sewer, Sewer shop. shop. I can't pronounce Thank it today. You. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Tongue twister. Uh, as I mean, he's got lots of great things out there as well. So, uh, Crowns of the Obsidian Game Gold. Uh, if you're looking for some indoor decorations and decoration packs to decorate your rooms, you can always check out the Deco Divas store on Trad Marketplace. Divas. All the way to services where you can find Scrota's music service thing, where $5 gets you anything you want. If you need some help Anything's leveling your character, you, you can always contact uh, Miles Ma- Power Hour or Armelian's uh, Adventure XP Boost. If you need some cheese side and writing, you can contact Wolfdom Shop. And if you, you know what, if you want to have an in-game wedding or event, you know who do you contact? This guy. That guy looking over there. for a wedding package, looking to get hitched, looking to have the event of your life. Need a venue? Need a wedding dress? Need a bunch of tuxedos? Need? You need anything? Check out 
weddings and more by last. Not just weddings, but a whole lot more. You need 100k arrows, you can find that on Shroud Marketplace as well, including teleports and recall scrolls. From 499! From this guy. 499! 499, this guy. And 499, guy. that guy. This guy. This guy. Hundreds of much, much, much cooler recalls. picture. Much cooler 499 picture. 499 each. Check out our stores. If you ain't got in game gold and you want to travel fast, check it out. That's right. Anything and everything, anything and everything <laughs> Route of the Avatar related can be bought or sold on TroudMarketplace.com. Reg register for an, an account and go ahead and start buying your stuff. If you're looking to start selling your stuff, go ahead and click on vendor registration on the left hand side and you too can start selling your stuff. It's a royal everything. wave. Are you trying to say it's that time to, for us to say goodbye? It's that time for us to say goodbye, folks. Thank you, everybody, for watching out on Twitch, YouTube, or listening on Radio Free Britannia. We couldn't do this shit without you guys, and we do love it for you, you guys. guys. So thank you from the hey, bottom. When are we going to get the give them the love uh, sign, Gix? Come on. You gotta, we got to get you know, a little, little well, give them that, the love sign. Well, that or are they going to do it like this? I mean, are they going to do it? Are they, they going to do, do it like our... this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, well, yeah we, we like, have all sorts that we can come up with for yeah. gigs. Keep, keep them busy down there. But yes, we got to get out of here, folks. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget, it's short week. We'll be here till Wednesday, then off to SodaCon. We'll be back next week uh, yeah. with more. And, and Vector Gamer does say that the marketplace needs to accept PayPal, and PayPal is the method of payment on Crowd Marketplace. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. But stay tuned to NBNM for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here on the NBNM lot. Till tomorrow, folks, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, Dakota. Sorry you just showed up. You're a little late. Sleep it. Bye-bye.